Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. We have already started here. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, that's nice. Has a pop! Goal! Scotland! And Scotland are in front. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Scotland have an early lead. Good start. Drives it towards the front. Goes direct to the front line. Scotland have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Hoists it forward. Played in with accuracy. Knocks it away. And it's played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Tries to locate someone up front. That's been drilled forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Aimed in towards the... Great leap! In he goes again! He has done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Scotland to get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Robertson. Attempts to play it through. 
approaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Played into the middle. Tries to get it clear. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. it upfield uh, needed a better pass there tries to get it forward quickly that's just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel hoists it forward it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing there's the end of the first half. We'll do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? That gets things going for the second half. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done. But that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. McTominay, and it's played forward. Forward it goes. Be a goal kick. Forward it goes. Cuts it out. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. And that's been levered clear. And it's played forward. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Battles to win it back. Chance to break. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Tries to get it forward quickly. McTominay, McTominay drives it forward. They get a throw in. There are a few waiting for it. Hoists it forward. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. McTominay goes looking. McTominay. Forward it goes. Subtlety, he's launched himself there. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Tries to get it forward quickly. Up towards the front line. And the through ball is intercepted. towards the front men he's made sure that that won't get through
Is there any support? He might not need it. And that is that.